Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Angels. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set, showing the slab in today's game, Chase Silson. What should we keep an eye on here? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there and compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Makes the catch, and there's one ball. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you can linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. And that's down a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today, so impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Moniak puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two down. And Jack Peterson stands in. That one ripped. That's got a chance. And that one's gone. He'll touch them all. And they grab the lead. It's 2-0. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Two outs, nobody on. And up next for the Giants, J.D. Davis. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Waste no time there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. So two down, and here is Michael Conforto. That one ripped right center field. That's back, and that one is out of here. Michael Conforto blasts one out. His 14th of the year. And they add on. It's 4-0. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. There's a swing and a drive. Oniak going back. Back some more. And the warning track makes the catch. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Back in Anaheim. And today's starter, Logan Webb. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Fouled off. He was late. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One gone here. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. C.J. Crow in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Swing and a miss. Strike one. C.J. Crow can hit a ball a long way. In 2022, 
He had a 504 foot home run that was one foot shy of the longest homer ever tracked by StatCast. Nomar Mazzara hit one 505 feet. Yeah, that home run tied John Carlos Stanton's 504 foot home run at Coors Field when he was with the Marlins in 2016. Swings and misses, struck him out. Two outs, bases empty. Brandon Drury to the plate. Swing and a foul straight back. Chris Logan Webb, a Northern California guy, but he grew up a fan of the Oakland A's. He grew up going to both teams' games, Giants and A's, but dad was an Oakland fan, so he loved the Tim Hudson, Bobby Crosby, Stephen Vogt teams with the Oakland A's. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next offering is foul back. Well, I can relate, beat from the Bay Area. I tell you what, warmer games in Oakland than they were in San Francisco. That can... Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Angels go quietly there. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. Silson back to work. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that one hops the wall. Moniak throws to second, and that's a leadoff double. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And up next for San Francisco, Luis Matos in the air right field. Renfro makes the grab, one down. Run behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Definitely a weird play right there, and it changes the outlook of the inning completely. Nice job by the defense to take advantage and get two outs out of it, but on the flip side, I have to think they're going to have some discussions and probably some lessons learned about the base running decisions that were made. Monia makes the play, and that'll do it. Bottom of the second. And so now the Angel cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. A wide of the pitch. And there's a strike. Lifted in the air, right center field. Conforto under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Randall Gritchick now. That one fouled off. Chris, one interesting note, Logan Webb is considered legally blind because of an astigmatism. Causes blurred vision. Yeah, well, you would be able to tell as dominant as he's been on the mound, that's for sure. Eric Summerskill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. And there's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Mickey Moniak. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Angels held in check. They trail it here for nothing. On to the third inning. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Wasting no time. It's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. That one is absolutely belted, and that ball is gone. Home run number 15 on the year, and they add to the lead. It's 6-0.
That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel. He got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Chase Silson done for the night, and the home run really bit him today as he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm coming on after the break. Now on the bump, Shohei on top. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every out he matters for the viewers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Pulls it in for the out. Now it's J.D. Davis. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That to right. And that's a fair ball. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Tries to get back in time, but they got him. Michael Conforto will climb in. He's already homered here in this one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next pitch is popped up. Escobar under this one. Squeezes it, and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 6-0 ball game. Welcome back. Now it's Hunter Renfro. The right field. Went back to work. Renfro. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. In the air to left center, Matos under it. Brings it in. One up, one down. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Left hand batter waits. Well. And now two and a one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Lifted in the air, out to left. Peterson makes the grab. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Eduardo Escobar. That one's in there, 0-1. Escobar, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was born in Venezuela. And now the count is even. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. Two down, nobody on. It's a good take. Next pitch is popped up. Grab on the run. And that's the third out. Nine straight retired here to start the game. On to inning number four. It's the Giants six and the Angels nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Patrick Bailey. And here it comes. Swing and a pop-up. Rengifo makes the grab one away. <coughs> now that here's Crawford now. Open stance Great. on that left side. Doubled his first time up. Out there to center. Moniak under it. Pulls it in. Two away. And now the center fielder, Luis Matos. He's 0 for 1. Right field. Renfro in position. He's got it. 
And that is out number three. Giants down in order. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Bottom four. And now it's going to be Luis Rangifo. And fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still 0-2. And, and the right-hander deals. Good job to fight that one off. Next pitch is popped up. Wade settles underneath it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. And here is C.J. Crone. And first offering is fouled off. Been an interesting path for C.J. Crone. 17th overall pick in 2011 by the Angels. Debuted in 2014. But the power of the last few years has been amazing. And he became an all-star in 2022. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Well, baseball runs in the family for C.J. Crone. His brother, Kevin, appeared in 47 games for Arizona before playing in Japan. He's also got a cousin and longtime Major League catcher, Chad Moeller. Yeah, I remember Chad. And his dad has been a longtime coach in the major and minor leagues. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. The 0-2. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. This is something else. Running that pitch count off, I can't imagine how frustrating it must be for the pitcher to have so many good pitches spoiled off like this. Next offering is fouled back. And he'll two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The notches strikeout number 150 this season. Two outs, bases empty. Standing in is the power hit second baseman, Brandon Drury. Good eye right there. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. And the Angels are gone in order. They still find themselves down. Six in. Back here at the ballpark, here's Lamont Wade Jr. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Gritchick makes the grab. One pitch, one out. And now the DH, Tyro Estrada. In the air out to center, Moniak. Moving under this one, and there's two down. And now it's Wilmer Flores. He's already homered in this game. Out towards left center. Grinchick drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Giants go down quietly. They lead it, though, 6 in. In Anaheim, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now, Mike Moustakis. 
first pitch just misses. Well, 2017, a good year for Mike Moustakis. He was named the Comeback Player of the Year in the American League after tearing that ACL in 2016. But, you know, he managed to bounce back with 38 home runs the following season. The 1-1 is fouled off. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And next for the Angels, Randall Gritchick. Ball one, no strikes. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. The Angels hitless so far in the game. That's in there. That's strike two. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Bailey under it. Drops into the glove. Two down. Two outs, bases empty. And next for L.A., Mickey Moniak. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Swings through that. Look at Sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, it stays, nothing in two. The pitch. Blows the high knee past him, that's a strikeout. Angels go down one, two, three. Still up against the six, nothing deficit. Top six, and now Jock Peterson. Otani back to work. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Gritchick pulls it in, and there's one away. Now it's J.D. Davis. Line drive. Pulls it in on the run. And a couple of quick outs. It was all over that fastball right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. That one lifted to left. Richick sizing it up. Makes the catch in a goal. No runs, no hits, no errors. 7, 8, 9, 2 up in the home half of the inning. It's the Giants 6 and the Angels nothing. And welcome back. Hunter Renfro at the plate. And a pitch. That clips the corner. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Look at Matt Thites getting ready to hit. That one misses. And that is ball one. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see... A lot of guys out front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Two outs, bases empty. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. That first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, number 59. And he's had a really hard time throwing strikes so far this season. His walk rate is up there among the worst in the league for relievers. Now that's smacked to right center. And 
One hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Okay. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Hits the fence. Moniak throws to second. He's in safely at second. And a run comes in to score. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Next to hit, Luis Matos. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Moniak puts it away, one down. So here's Wade now. Second scores as they add on. It's 8 nothing, And he's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Line, and that's a base hit. Wade coming home. Boos with a relay throw. And he's out easily. And here is Wilbur Flores, one for three. Right-handed reliever. Line drive, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Here's Jack Peterson. And he lays one down the left side. Now the throw to first on the run. Third out, that ends the frame. They put two on the board on five hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Giants eight, and the Angels nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium, set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Luis Rankifo. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's a little high. Righty delivers. That's in there. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Crawford in position. And it's caught for the out. C.J. Crone, the next to hit for the Angels. Who's over for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And there's a ball. The Halos still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Next one misses, and it's two and one. And a swing and a miss. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Next pitch is popped up. Wade makes the grab, two down. And now, Brandon Drury. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Good eye right there. 
Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Here's a one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two outs. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Angels go quietly there, and they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And digging in for San Francisco, J.D. Davis. The pitch. Rips that one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Out towards left center. Gritchick racing, makes the catch. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And that's a base hit. Bailey around third. He scores, and they now lead by nine. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Right, New arm out of the bullpen, oh, and he pops up go. the bun. Maria right there to make the grab. And that will end the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Giants nine, and the Angels nothing. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. The for the wide to kick the pitch. Inside, just missed. Webb still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Kicks and fires. Swing and a foul straight back. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Next offering misses, and now three and two. That's ball four, and that puts an end to the perfect game. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Moose gets his lead at first. Nobody out. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Still rolling to start the eighth. Just five more outs to get. Mickey Monia, the next to hit for the Angels. There's a strike. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. And a pitch. There's a strike. Not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation where he needs something on the ground. And a pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And at first, 
Hunter Renfro digs in now. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. The Angels yet to pick up a hit here. Swing and a miss struck him out. Angels lead one, and they're down 9 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth, and the batter now, Lamont Wade Jr. The wind and the pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Renfro going back, back some more, and that one is out of here. So he just clears the wall, and they tack one on the board. It's 10-0. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that. It's so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Now, here is Tyro Estrada. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Ripped on a line. Money out. Takes it in for the out. One away. And now Jack Peterson. Base hit right there. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now that now the third baseman, JD Davis. That smash towards center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are two down. And up next for the Giants, Michael Conforto. Bunted towards third. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. It didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. And right on top of it. Next to hit, Patrick Bailey. Now two runs score. It's 12-0. And safely with a double, his second of the day. Nicely done. Brings home two. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. Big pitcher in the game for the Angels. Bunts it back towards the pitcher. Slings the first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. So we'll head to the bottom of the ninth with a chance at history on the line. Back in a moment. And now and Matt Dice. Everyone's attention on the no-hit bid now. Three tough outs to get. First pitch, and he just misses. You can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. Tosses to first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Just two more outs to go in this bid for a no-hitter. And physically, there's probably some fatigue, but mentally, which might be what's most important, he seems as strong now as he's been all game. I'm sure the adrenaline is fully ramped up at this point as well. Next offering is foul back. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, he hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Center field. Matos, a couple of steps in, makes a nice running catch. And there's two away. And now the toughest one is left to get. The final out to complete the no-hitter. Yeah, and not much we can say anymore. Everyone knows what this situation is, and he's so close, boo, he can taste it. That one out to right. Conforto moving under it. He puts it away. It's a no-hitter. Congratulations to him. He was dominant all game long. Got
got some really nice play behind him defensively. It seemed like everyone was on board, pulling for him to finish the no-hitter, but most importantly, get the W for the team.